Hi, I'm Jordan Baton from Limit State, and today I'll be explaining how to define a 2D Rhino structure and determine its efficiency using Peregrin, the structural optimization plugin for Grasshopper. The define topology component is used to define a 2D Rhino structure in order to determine its efficiency. Post optimization steps can also be performed on the Rhino defined structure to ascertain whether the layout can be improved. It can also be used to compare the user defined layout to the optimum layout calculated using the layout optimization component. The component accepts the problem specification, which defines the domain, supports, and load cases. I'm going to crudely draw a Warren truss to analyze using Peregrine. To do this, I'm going to use the polyline component in Rhino. The curve component should be used to import the Rhino geometry into the lines input. To do this, right click the component and then select set multiple curves and highlight the polylines drawn in Rhino. The solution data can then be connected to the view solutions component to view the sized members. A geometry optimization can be used to improve the layout of the Rhino defined geometry. During this process, nodes may be merged altering the layout. This can be compared to the original layout by connecting it to the view solutions component. The layout has now been improved and requires a lower volume of material. The optimal layout, calculated through the use of a layout optimization, followed by a geometry optimization, can also be compared by connecting the solution into the view solutions component. The solution data input to the view solutions component should be flattened in order to view Rhino defined geometries alongside optimum solutions calculated using the layout optimization component in a gallery view. Now all solutions are displayed in the gallery view, which compares their relative efficiencies. Part of the functionality of the defined topology component is checking the input topology is validated. If the topology is found to be unstable, the component won't function as the structure is invalid. If the structure has an endpoint laying outside the domain or a small distance from the support or point load locations, a component runs a preliminary geometry optimization, which moves points so that they are within the domain or at the point supports or load locations. This distance can be controlled using the tolerance input, which is the fraction of the longest diagonal of the domain below which member endpoints may be moved. Thanks for watching. For more information, visit our website.